Hey, this is Tyler with Diesel Geek, and this is the overview for installing the Mark IV Deluxe Shifter Bushing Kit. So that's the sticker. You guys can figure out where that one goes. And here is our baggie of goodies. We have a first gear getter, our cable saver bushing set, our five millimeter alignment pin, our shaft bushings, and an extra bolt. I'll show you where this comes in later. Anyway, the most detailed instructions for installing these components is found on the respective components individual product description page. And all of those products are linked in the top paragraph of the Mark IV bushing kit. Um, but this will allow you to have a good perspective on what the order of operations is and what are what all the pieces are and where they go so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so step one is going to be to remove the console um, obviously we've already done that once the console is out i like to start with the first gear getter to install the first gear getter you have to remove this T25 screw from the side to side interior bell crank. This screw is really easy to strip, especially if you accidentally use the T20 screw that you use to disassemble the console to remove that. That doesn't work, it blows the head every time, trust me. That's where this one comes in, so that, that's why that's included. Anyway, once, once you have the screw removed, you can take this guy off and the first gear getter just presses in here. Um, it's a it's machined to a very, very tight tolerance and slightly oversized fit. So it's gonna be hard to get started. And you're probably gonna have to use a pair of plier on either side here and to, to force it in. And you want, you want the flange of the fig to be completely flush with the bell crank when you're finished. Um, if it's hanging out, it'll eventually walk itself out. Also, if the yellow plastic bushing isn't totally gone, you're gonna have to remove it. So you'll have to just go around here with a razor blade lightly, and then just grab the grab it with a pair of pliers and it'll yank off. And then you'll have hard plastic underneath here, and that's what will ride on this fig. Once you have the fig installed in the bell crank, you can come in and do your uh, side to side cable end bushing. Um, you pop this clip off and then there's a spongy rubber bushing in there that you kind of use a dental pick to pop out. Then you will need to install one of two of the supplied cable end bushings. Um, one of them is a 10 millimeter bushing. One is a nine millimeter bushing. Um, use the one that fits. The, uh, this is a plastic cable end car. So this is gonna use the 10 millimeter bushing. The metal cable end car will use the nine millimeter bushing. Um, we don't know which one you have in your car, so we include them both. Um, it's going to be a tight fit. Um, you should be able to press it in there with your fingers. Sometimes tools are required, but um, just just remember it's it's a precision fit, and so you're going to have to use some force on it. Um, then once the bushing is installed in the cable end, you can slide the cable end back onto the pin on the bell crank and, and put that clip back on. From there, I do the front to back bushing and Levi and I are going to switch sides so we can show you the details there. So the front to back bushing is this one right here and it rides at the bottom of the stick. And if we pull this stick back, and put the car in uh, fourth, you can just see it down in this hole. This hole is not there from the factory. You have to make it. And you make it with a one and one quarter inch hole saw. And you want to drill, you want to align your drill such that the hole Pull that, that carpet down out of the way. 
you're gonna align your drill so that the hole is just above this stamped window here, aperture here. So that's your height. And then as far as your fore aft, you want it to be even between the corners of this C-shaped plate up here. And you can just drill in and that's gonna be your window to the inside of the box there. Um, now, when you're doing this front to back bushing, make sure you keep this side to side bell crank off because from there you can remove these two bolts. Again, these are pretty soft, so use a good quality tool. Take them out, take this C-shaped plate off, and then this stick will lift up a little bit. Um, if your front to back bushing is totally gone, then the stick will come totally out of the car. Um, this one's still pretty decent. Um, but anyway, to recap, inch and a quarter hole aligned fore aft evenly with these corners and just above this stamped aperture. Do this front to back bushings with the side to side bell crank off. You can lift up here. Um, the cable ends on these are all the same size. They're all they're all uh, uh, 15 millimeter, I believe. Um, and there's a there's a the rubber bushing will just peel out with a dental pick. Um, the way we've designed this is with a split here. So you'll um, you'll take this bushing and you'll want to pop it on the end of the ball here. Then you'll you'll slide the loop of the cable end onto the bushing and then you'll put the snap ring back on. If you put this in the cable end and then try to drive the cable onto the ball, you're gonna have a bad time and you're probably gonna damage this bushing. Um, we put the split in here so that it'll slip over, then you put the loop on, then you put the snap ring on. That's, that's how we designed this part to operate. Um, then, before, but before you reattach the cable, you should shim the ball here. Um, Jim has a video, it's floating on a number of the product pages. If you can't find it, you can email us, but there's a way that you can shim this ball socket and take up take up this little bit of slop right here, um, which, which ha has a tremendous implication on the feel um, of the shifter. Next, uh, really at any time, you can install the shaft bushings. Um, this is the lower bushing, this is the upper bushing, these are the easiest to install. You don't have to have the console removed to do these. Um, it it's just replaces this guy and this guy right here. Um, so once you have the boot off, that's, that's all there is to it. And then the last piece of this equation is our five millimeter adjustment pin. The pin goes right there and locks the shifter in the home position in the cabin side so that you can align the shifter linkage and adjust the cables in the engine compartment. It's just the icing on the cake. It's kind of just like after you get new, new, new suspension, you get a wheel alignment. After you get new shifter bushings, you do a shifter alignment. But that's the entirety of the kit and the uh, operation order of operations that I like to do them in. So thanks for watching and that's about it.